I'm so confused. Why aren't you working? Because uh, I think it just exploded. Hey, do you know what would be fun? would be to do like you see in those videos where people make stuff where they see something on the internet and they're like, whoa, that's cool. And then the next shot you see them at the store and then they're like, you see like their hand and they're like picking the thing up and then buying it and then making the thing. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. 90th speed. Boom, boom, boom. LEDs, man. They're, they're slug. I don't know what the. I gotta fix. You see, the key to getting a good shot is to have the camera running for a long time before you even start doing anything. Because then it gives you time to just kind of mix the camera flow into your vibe. <laughs> Hey everybody, we got our glider here. In case you haven't seen, uh, Flight Test did a an episode where they took this glider from uh, Walmart, is where I got it, and they made it radio controlled, and they put a motor and servos on it and stuff. I'm going to see if I can do the same thing. But I have a little bit of a different plan. The basic game plan for this is to first open the package. Slosh, nosh vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer. So light wing. That's a pretty nice shaped wing. That'd be kind of cool to just take this and make a like, flying wing out of it. That, definitely a little, little flexy going on. It's a pretty good fit. You'd think I would know how to put an airplane together. But apparently not. So the loose game plan right now is to cover as much of it as I can with packing tape to reinforce it. I will paint it, I think, because it's going to look awesome. I do kind of like the idea of having Elevons in the rear here. For the power plant, I'm thinking of powering it with uh, this little guy right here, which is uh, an Emax uh, RS2205, uh, just because I have one laying around. And then um, that should give me a lot of uh, thrust for the weight, because I, I kind of want this thing to be a little spicy. I'm excited about this. I guess the first thing I should do is just take it outside and figure out where the balance is and then and then go from there. I am amazed at how well this flies. Wheels are turning. It'll be kind of covered almost like a like shingles on a roof. Or overlapping from the front. I'm gonna try and do a good job, but I'm also just kind of gonna try and do this quickly. Boom! All right, I gotta get more tape. I'm out of tape, but we have we've added a little bit of weight. And we've added eh, I don't know. I could weigh it, but I'm not going to. We've added a little bit of weight, but for what we get in structural integrity, I think it's gonna be worth it. Once I get these wings done, well, once we once I tape up everything else. Everything here, I'm gonna check the CG again, and then uh, and, and kind of see what the effects of the weight of the tape did. And then I think I'm gonna run a piece here as well. So here's what we have here so far. So I have covered all of these surfaces, or as much of the surfaces as I could cover in uh, pack. I've decided to go with a um, uh, well, kind of like a, a, a aft. Uh, Elevon style. Five gram servos that I'm going to be using uh, to control these surfaces. The little Flysky uh, GR3E uh, receiver. Um, and then what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get the balance right. I'm not loving where this is, but I think for balancing purposes, it might need to be forward here like you see it. And I have a 30 amp VL Heli ESC on here. Once I get all of the electronics and stuff figured out, I'm gonna scuff up the surface for painting and then paint it. Fun fact, apparently Rust-Oleum spray paint, uh, silver or uh, metallic finish, kinda eats through this foam. I'm not totally sure what kind of foam exactly this is. I underestimated how different the foam would look from this, but you know, I mean, I figured it would look like trash anyway, but at least now it looks like bling trash. Ooh. Oh boy, how neat is that? 
I think that's a Sky Master. Ah, oh, wow. Would you look at that? All right, so far so good, but uh, something's missing in this. You got the. Oh, of course. You can't have a shiny plane without shiny propellers. Time warp and also space warp out here at the flying field and we're gonna see how she flies. I've got high hopes. High hopes. So the problem is that the thrust angle the way it is um, like if even if I put more weight in the back of the airplane, it's not really gonna help much because the thrust angle is just the more thrust I give it, it's just gonna go down more. So rut row. I don't know what I was thinking giving it so much thrust angle because it's not behind the center of grav well it's not behind the center of gravity or the center of lift. It's actually forward of all that. Battery's unplugged, by the way. Adjusted the thrust angle as best I could and then put a larger battery in a 1300 milliamp hour three cell. I'm gonna try and move the battery back a little bit. I feel like it. I feel like it's. She's in the air. She's. She doesn't. Whoa. Oh no. Oh, whoa there, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. All right. She is a very unstable bird, extremely unstable, uh, pretty unstable, glides nicely, it just went, oh, and she's got the power, she's not happy, <laughs> not happy at all, I think there's a lot of like torque and stuff going on probably, keeps doing this wiggly wobbly thing. But one, as soon as I take out the power, she's, she's pretty good. Let's try and get some altitude here. Oh my goodness gracious. That's full power. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. Wow. And that's no power. Okay. Well, let's see if I can bring her in for a landing here. She's fairly docile. I mean, really docile. Uh, wow, that was a pretty pretty smooth landing. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Okay, well, um, I feel a little bit better because um, it does actually fly. Well, it's not like I built this airframe, but it, it does fly. It's just that motor. That motor is giving it all kinds of trouble. It's it's doing this number and it's it doesn't know what it's doing so the balance is actually pretty good uh it, it yeah when it's when the power is off it, <clears throat> it it's pretty controllable it's very docile pretty darn slow really it's pretty lightweight just just about a pound all, um without the battery are you ready i'm not let's do this anyway I mean, this thing, I feel like it like wants to take off like some sort of a jet. It is called the Golden Jet. And it keeps, yeah, it basically it just wants to roll to the right, like a lot. It's got a lot of rolling action going on. And then I take the power out and everything's fine. It's, it's it's golden. No, it's not. I don't have control anymore. Oh. Ow. Darn. Okay. Oh, that thing exploded. Well, it looks like I won't be able to strap a Mobius to it, most likely, because I think it just exploded. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at these wings. Oh, yep. The motor's no longer attached. 
really though most of the fuselage is okay and the wings ejected the wings ejected just as I guess they were designed to do so I'm glad I didn't try to make them permanent I need to make a new I need to use a different motor or uh, or, or, or make a new motor mount so that's I'm not I can't say that I'm too sad really foam is the part that it ripped off I don't I'm not sure what happened though I guess I just lost connection so maybe I was just maybe I just flew too far away C could be I'm using this crappy uh, receiver the the GR3E Fly, Fly Sky GR3E receiver just because it's cheap it's just a cheap three channel receiver and it's kind of meant more for RC cars that's good to know probably should not use those receivers for anything other than flying in the backyard all right I might be able to fix it either later in this video or in another video so stay tuned for that thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and comment um, what you think went wrong and uh, some of the design issues don't just bash me but give me some productive criticism instructive criticism constructive criticism because uh, maybe other people can learn from this as well uh, also hey if you're going to flight test flight fest and you are flying one of these guys that you built uh, bring it and uh, let's get like a flock flying how cool would that be with like 20 of these flying around in combat and like wings are just falling off everywhere that would be that would be pretty sweet it didn't make sense to have any down thrust because the motor is so high up it wants to pull down so what I'm going to do now is have it upwards and kind of give it actually up or pointing forward actually give it a little bit of upward thrust in. It causes a roll to the left uh, because the motor is spinning to the right. So I think that may be uh, one of the problems that I'm having. So that's what it looks like. Oh, it's actually really crooked. Did not realize how crooked it was. That's full right uh, rudder vader. That's a problem. That's a problem. All right, hang on. So as long as I keep it the as long as I keep the throttle way down, it actually kind of flies okay. But as soon as I give it more throttle, it wants to roll to the right. <laughs> no, okay. No, it doesn't want to do that anymore. All right, I got greedy. Got greedy. That's this is what happens when you get greedy, folks. Oh, I just had to do that. I had to do that, didn't I? So sad. She'll probably never fly the same again. Okay, now I guess I really am going to end it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and you, and you liked it and if you did like it give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down Comment below what you might have maybe done to make this thing fly and uh, let me know if you uh, have built one of your own um, I hope I hope yours went better than mine Well, maybe the golden jet will rise again But until next time